guys. Hey. It's me, Peyton. It's me, Dylan. And we are here at Universal. Uh, we just got here. We're doing a half day trip. It was kind of a spur of the moment decision. We saw that the weather looks good and the lines weren't too long on the Universal app. So we decided to come on over. We're going to go on, get into the park, and we'll see you in there. Well, we made it into the park. No line to get in. First time eating at Finnegan's, guys. We made it to Finnegan's. We are here, we're in a booth. I'm super happy about that. It's really cool. So I understand I called and I made a reservation, but I also called and made a reservation an hour ago. Looking at the menu, Finnegan's, trying to decide what I want to eat. I'm a little torn. I don't know if I should get fish and chips or corned beef. They're two of my favorite meals. So, I don't know. Comment below what you think I should get. We'll see what I order. I'm going to try the pork tenderloin today. Marinated, center cut with Finnegan's Bordelais sauce. Served with garlic mashed potatoes, Brussels sprouts, carrots, garnished with potato and onion web. Wow. Sounds really good. That does. Can I eat some of your Brussels sprouts? Yeah, for sure. Can I try some of your No. Well then, no way on the Brussels sprouts. What do you mean? We've got bread and apple butter. Uh, it kind of looks like an Irish soda bread. That'd be my guess. I'm actually three quarters Irish. We've got our apple butter on our Irish soda bread. Bread is warm. It smells really good. Mm. I like that up butter. The potato and onion web. I'm so excited for this. It's everything I want. Mm. Mm. I, there's no way we're going to eat all of this between the two of us. Yeah, this seems like this is for like a party of four or six. Like, this is crazy. Ten, but yeah. it's so good. I think this was like eight bucks. Ten. Ten? Really? But yeah. for an appetizer and a theme park. Like one of the cheapest things on the menu. Mm -hmm. And it's on a lot of their dishes too. I don't know if too many other places that literally mix shredded potato and onion fried together. No. More places should though. Anyway, I'm gonna eat. Okay. From check-in to sitting down to the fact that we have an appetizer already, this has been the quickest meal we've had in the parks in a long time. Service is on top of things. We've got our water is refilled. Food came out fast. I mean, when you're at the theme park trying to get stuff done, can't ask for much more. Our food got here. Dylan has his pork and mashed potatoes and all those veggies. And I've got my fish and chips. This is a hearty portion. So I'm ready to dig in. I don't know about you. Absolutely. I mean, gosh, they must not go hungry in Ireland. Dylan's waiting on a napkin because he spilled on himself already. So I am going to try one of my fish and chips here. It is hot. Mmm. That was crunchy. That was good. Don't mind the spots on Dylan's shirt. That's when he has spilled himself, as I said earlier. I brought my fork on the first bite. So this is the uh, pork tenderloin. They give you two tenderloins. It's a huge plate. And we'll see how it tastes. lunch at Finnegan's and so we are gonna go ride Rip Ride Rocket now. Yeah nothing better to do after a huge meal than go on a roar. Right? <laughs> Dylan's running ahead to the locker. Rip Ride Rocket does mean we're gonna have to put the phone away. Goodbye everyone. <laughs> We just got done with an awesome ride on Rip Ride Rocket. Yeah, it was a pretty short line and we didn't even have to ask for the front row, we just got the front row. Yeah. <laughs> Beast Boys, Beastie Boys. I'm sorry, that child spooks me. <laughs> so we selected Beastie Boys Sabotage and made for a pretty good ride. Yeah. 
So now we're just gonna head over to Islands of Adventure. Obviously that's where uh, we really wanna be. We just came here for lunch. Yeah, time to get to the main attractions now. Yep, head on over there, we'll see you there. We made it to Islands of Adventure. Yeah, unfortunately the wait times on our favorite rides have gone up, but the wait time for Hulk is still 10 minutes, so we're gonna go ride that. Yep, so we'll be right back after we ride the Hulk. Five minute wait and so we rode the Hulk which had a 10 minute wait and we were able to walk on get the front row and it was a great ride on the Hulk but now we're going to our favorite ride which happens to be I don't want to say it's too loud but Velocicoaster Just don't tell anyone because I don't want it to get too popular How's, how long is the wait? <sighs> 45 minutes for the newest ride at the park. I love that everyone's leaving right now. Yep, look at this. So many people are just heading out of the parks now. They're heading to dinner. Ooh. What? Bad. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, if you can tell, we are in line for Velocicoaster. We finally finally made it to the uh, fanned shaded area. I wouldn't say air conditions. <laughs> Coaster. It was a great ride. It was awesome. We had the back row and it was it wasn't like a walk-on but it was way shorter than what it was posted for. Yeah, maybe 30 minutes, so it was fantastic. I was wondering what I could do to convince Dylan to ride a water ride. I didn't have to do anything. The wait time for River Adventure is 15 minutes. So he said yes. How could I say no? I don't even care, I'm in jeans. I want a water ride. I am hot. I just want like a light cooling mist. I don't want to get drenched. We'll see, catch you after the ride. According to Jurassic Park River Adventure, Velociraptor means swift robber. But according to Jurassic World, Velocicoaster, Velociraptor means swift thief. So, so what is it? Swift robber, swift thief. I mean, Universal, that's kind of some inconsistency in the theming. What, what's going on there? That was, that was exactly what I needed. That um, was honestly pretty refreshing. I am sunburned. Actually, I got very badly sunburned yesterday. So Dylan thinks that I'm just like extra hot compared to everybody else. Yeah, I think she's sunburned. We just reached the end of the line for Hagrid's. A little backed up today. At least we're in a shaded area, which is good. Let's see how it goes. The post time was 60. Honestly, it from here I think that's pretty accurate. But that's okay. It had been a couple visits, but I couldn't deny the line at Hogshead, so I got a butter beer. And we decided we're gonna go make one more ride before we go. Dylan, where are we going? Um, the other way, honey. Right, right there, right there. Let's go. It's got a, it's got a wait, but yeah, it does. It's a long wait, but whatever. It's always good butter beer. It is. I know it tastes so good today. It's actually really hitting the spot on this hot for me day. Hot. It's cloudy. I'm sunburned. It makes your body temperature different. Okay. Ooh, got the show going. I swear, every time we walk by, the show is going on. It's the Frog Choir one. I've heard the Frog Choir is actually a fun show to watch. Maybe one day we'll show you that. Comment below if you want us to show you shows. All right, so we have to finish uh, the butter beer because we did choose to get in the single rider line today. 
Just uh, it looked open. Oh crap. That was awesome. We got on the same train. We were so close to getting um paired together. The girl I rode with actually said she would have switched with you had we noticed quicker. We had to like we had to rush on. Same, the train. same. I was rushed on. She was like, two single riders, go! And so yeah, it would happen really fast, but we were on the same train and it was awesome. I was in the back row. Um, and we're gonna get back in line, but we're gonna use the main queue this time. Yeah. And this, this will be our last ride. We, we promise. Guys. <laughs> we swear. We, we, we really. We mean it. We really mean it this time. Okay. We don't. Have, we're not addicted. We all are addicted. No problem. You guys just want to see this ride over and over again. We get it. So guys, we are about a room and a half away from Lockers and. Classic Coaster is experiencing a brief delay in operation. Nothing to fear. We apologize and thank you for your patience. And, and we heard that. Nine minutes later, the hunt is on. The line should start moving again. Um, we just rode it twice. Um, again, not one of those things we like to get into because I don't like to talk about like the bad. But they handled it well. Again, so we got to ride it twice, which was awesome. So now we are done. Well, that's a nice view, that sky. You see Hogsmeade there, you got the Velociraptors. Wait, I thought those up. were dragons. Oh, hey. Our afternoon was fantastic. We only spent a half day, but we were able to ride so much. Felt like we uh, were really fortunate with the wait times for the rides that we chose to go on. <laughs> Oh, that sounds awesome. And it was a great day, honestly. I can't believe that we got here at two. We've only been here six hours. We rode a lot. Guys, it's finally happened. Had to wait till closing time to actually find a short line. For a turkey leg. Like they're running short too. Oh, I know. No. Oh gosh. <laughs> Not good. I've been trying for the past like five visits to get one. The elusive turkey legs. It's harder to get than get onto Hagrid's. This is true. I finally have one. We've been trying for so long to get a turkey leg. Ugh. The lines are always obnoxious, and I got one of the like last few. The turkey leg. Them. Everything you hope for? Mm -hmm. Let me try. Okay. It's not good? Wow, it's really good. So it's as good as a Disney turkey leg. Aha. Uh -huh. Right place, right time. I'm so happy right now. I'm oh, glad. turkey leg. This has been a great day. We made one last stop. I placed a mobile order while we were in line for Hagrid. Yeah. Um, but we are here at Voodoo Donuts. So this place is cool. I'm vibing the music they're playing right now. But this is Voodoo Donuts. Oh, wow, already. Mobile ordering is the way to go. We got our donuts within five minutes. Skip the whole Yep, yeah, so this is great. So, I guess that means we're hitting the road, guys. Yeah, but we will see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Had another great day at Universal. Mm -hmm. Spur of the moment decision to go. And we were able to ride a lot of our favorite rides. Mm -hmm. We were here for seven hours. We had a very complete day. If you're driving from out of town and you might only arrive at the park at noon, then you can still get a lot of good rides in for the day. It is possible. If you plan the crowd right, if you play the day correctly, watch those wait times, you can have a fun time and seven hours make the most of your day guys and until next time bye, bye.